Alright, bunch of boxes of jewelry. Good, uh, you know, jewelry making parts, I think. Bunch of those old trunks again. Here's some pretty neat stuff here on the front tables. Nice little group of granite ware. It's kind of a neat little bucket right there. Like the little radio. This is all uh, Ben Owen, Master Potter. Cream and sugar, bowl, and mugs. Another clock. Nice looking J.R. Hamill from Baker University. And you go into Baker, like J.R. Hamill, that's the piece to get. Neat little University of Minnesota decanter. Hockey player. Player. Alright, these are pretty cool. This group of five uh, paintings here. I don't know what exactly they're for, if they're just purely decorative, but they are just a neat set of paintings. Nice little two gallon Red Wing stoneware crock, daisy churn. This is a neat box here. So we took an old U.S. Army box, which is an unusual size anyway, and then put a fitted interior in it. And I don't think that's original to the box. I know I've never seen one before, but they did a really nice job of fitting it. So, pretty neat. The big uh, tray is Wagner, nice little engraving plate. This is a cool lamp here. Check this out, the radio form. I don't think the shade's quite right. It needs a little just a laced edge fiber shade, but that is a really cool little radio lamp. Some nice glassware, some nice Fenton souvenir pieces, some cut glass pieces. Really nice cut glass cream and sugar, nice on the pedestal there. The deco console set is really super sweet. And these big porcelain figures are very nice. Dresden type, very well painted. There are some issues. She's missing a finger. There's some damage to the flowers. Uh, there's a chip on her base, but they're a really good looking pair. Probably well worth restoring. We have some interesting contemporary artwork, including this piece from the Killer Banshee Studios. I don't think these little guys are original to it. In fact, I'm sure they're not looking at it now, so let's go ahead and take that off. But it is a really neat piece, and it's supposed to light up. It did the other day. Might have gotten unplugged. No, I'll get that later. That's a really cool, you know, city Gotham scene there. I dig the, uh, I think it's a theater scene. Uh, Jensen Lady's room, probably at the, at the uh, intermission. These are his models, and uh, I believe that's Raspero. And uh, a couple of dolls there. I like the big, uh, you know, drawing painting here. Marker, pretty neat piece. Very pretty Podocrem set. Uh, the Podocrems are Richard Janori for Bonwit Teller, and the tray is Limoges for Bonwit Teller. Uh, probably been together for 40 years. Very good uh, art book, uh, print book there. These are all the ones you see framed. They have the, uh, the repro tag there on the bottom left corner. There's uh, several Bentons in there. There's 100 1920s, 30s uh, prints in that book, and it's from the time frame, so it's pretty neat. Really nice collection of EAPG. The Frosted Star Pattern, or Stippled Star Pattern, I believe it's called. That's a nice glass right here. Beautiful Waterford decanter. Dig the antique uh, skates there with the little curled lip and the wooden base. Wooden shoes. Some tools, including the Stanley plane, the Stanley, is that 45 or 54? And then a little uh, jig. Box of pocket knives. This is a cool little globe bank advertising piece. Uh, really sweet. It's on a little, just a base hold in place. Some more lamp, uh, planes. <laughs> Big set of pinup playing cards. Some uh, silver slabs there, 999 silver, one ounce slabs, some, most of them. The tollware box is cool. It says, out in Kansas. 
and then it says 31925 NL. So 1925 paintings is out in Kansas. Uh, I'm not sure where in Kansas they have mountains, but that's what it says. Nice little portrait miniature, some good jewelry, some Bakelite. Uh, Amy and, and uh, Linda tested the ones on the stand there. They're all Bakelite, they told me. A set of pearls back there, 14 karat clasp. Beautiful heron box, Lalique, Yadro. Cut glass box, a big one. Nice piece of Stuban. And the uh, bag that the Yadro and Nail piece on are the, is the Stuban bag for the vase. The hat is Yadro, which is very cool, very fine. And then the Sebus piece, Moses, uh, the Great Lawgiver, I think is the title of it. Bloody Huge, signed right there on the back. Um, this piece on replacements is $2,400. This has a repaired finger, so it obviously affects value. Uh, but when it came in, it was thought to be resin. So I'd rather have a broken finger on a piece of Seabus than a perfect piece of resin. So <laughs> pretty good piece. Tapestry. The belt is super cool. Nice work on there. Uh, nice hand tooling on the leather. And then that's horse hair, we believe. Nice old poster. Well, that needs to be cleaned. The Keystone Railroad piece is really cool. Florence figurine. Nice hardware, nice, nice, you know, Czechoslovakian vases here. Some more contemporary artwork. Really like the mask. This uh, piece here has a tag with it, all kind of information. From the clan of the Fiestas. The iron is super cool. Check out the little face on the... Uh, on the charcoal bin there. This piece is signed C. Sanderson. Now, we've had Charles Sanderson's work before. This doesn't look like one of his, but it's he is signed C. Sanderson 67. Uh, looks, almost looks like Kentucky Fried, the Colonel from Kentucky Fried Chicken, Colonel Sanders. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh. Full sunbonnet baby set. Nice pair of urns there, Baccarat piece, Fenton. The horn pieces are cool, including the lamp. I haven't seen, I haven't seen that form before. Here's the uh, clock collection. Nice Mission Oak clock there. This Manning Bowman is really super cool deco. Uh, there's several Seth Thomas, there's a Howard Miller, a Plymouth, there's a couple of anniversary clocks, Victorian. One cuckoo. Little Seth Thomas warranted there. Pretty neat collection. A little table full of paper goods again. Wow. Bowling alleys with grandstands. American Bowling Congress, Memphis, Tennessee, 1981. Cool. Oh, and here's another one during the tournament. That's kind of neat. Oh, that's a cool little card. Lion Coffee and playing soccer. Probably a pretty good little card there. Oh, that's a cute little real photo. Big Indian Creed. What is that? Engine House and Tanks, the big Indian oil and development company near Osawatomie, Kansas. Whoa! Now that's pretty cool. Oh, big Indian creators from the oil company. Oh, what else is in here from them? You never know what's going to be these paper boxes of paper, folks. Early oil from Kansas, probably a pretty good thing. Ooh! Broken building. Nice set of James Hunter for Cooper books. Uh, 
three, four, two, uh, looks like we have all ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Volume of ten. Set of ten. Nice engraving. Complete in ten volumes, which this is. So, nice little set there. There are a few good jazz records in here. A Majamal Trio, that's a pretty good record there. In nice shape. The Afro Classic. I don't care if the record's not worth anything or not, but the Afro Classic is a cool title. Ahmad Jamal. The Dave Brubeck Quartet. Alrighty. We're going to have fun Tuesday night. Make sure you make plans to come on out. Look things over beforehand so you know what you're bidding on. If you have any questions beforehand, give us a call or email. We'll be happy to answer anything we can. Uh, if you have questions about consigning items, please call us or email us. We'll help you with that as well. Look forward to seeing you Tuesday and have a great, great weekend and enjoy this beautiful weather.